in FUBAR 2000, there's a way to package an entire album into one uh, audio file. In this case, we will use FLAC since it supports this and it uh, has wide compatibility. But within that one file, you can have everything needed to recreate the album as a whole. And so it would allow you to have all these tracks um, all separated within it, and then you could have the log files and the cover art and the Q file. And the way it does this is using a feature called an embedded Q file. And only certain audio codecs support this. And FLAC is probably, of those few, it's the most widely popular one. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. If you go into FUBAR 2000 and go to Convert, I have a, a preset called Single Image FLAC. But the way this works is uh, you choose FLAC as your codec. And then on the destination, it's this middle one, Generate Multi-Track Files. And this doesn't mean generate multiple track files. It means generate a file that within it has multiple tracks. And within it, I have a custom string here that um, gives me everything that I might want to know to quickly identify this album. Uh, the artist's name, the year it was released, the uh, album title, the catalog number, and then the codec. And go back and then on the other just make sure you've got the tags and the pictures i think these are default these are always turned on we'll say convert and it goes pretty quickly um, depending on your hard drive okay so what it did if i go here and so it made just this single file. You see it's got the artwork embedded. Now I'm going to go over, I'm going to switch over and look at that instead. All right. And so you see here we got pretty much the exact same thing. But if I select two songs and go to properties and details, you see the file path is just this one file and subsong index it so it knows that within this one file there's supposed to be multiple tracks and then the other thing now what you can do is um let's see we'll go to uh properties here and on the artwork um i'll give it a uh give it the tray liner and for the disc, got the disc as well. Okay, so we've got, I guess if you do this, you want to have a nice high resolution image. Um, okay, so 2000 by 2000 for JPEG, and then I've got the uh, tray liner and the disc here. We'll say okay. And what's nice about this is that it only has to write it once. So even though it was a big file that it added, it didn't have to write that PNG file, you know, 21 times. It just did it one time. And then if you were to ever split these out, they would all go along with it. And, and then the second part is if you want to add logs, uh, FUBAR 2000, a, a supports custom log or uh, custom tags and so we could put eac log and if we go over here we've got this log we'll take that and then um Go to edit and then single value, and you can just paste that there. And see, it's even got this log checksum. And so, if somebody ever pulled this out, they could copy this into a 
text file and see if it checks out. And then uh, you could do EACQ. And again, edit this, copy it, and put it in as a single value. And again, now we've got this whole thing is in here. And so somebody can take this and copy and paste it into a, a Q file. And now they can have the original thing. And so we save this. And I'll go back over here. We've got 438 megabytes, and it's got everything you need to have a fully recreatable album, all stored within one file.